Hey there, Chad Bonja here for High University Libraries. If you're looking to explore the feasibility of opening a restaurant, whether it be a franchise or a restaurant that might be a competitor of a franchise, you may want to look at um, the location of people who frequent those, uh, those restaurants uh, at the state or county or zip code level. Uh, this video demonstrates how to get that data using a database called Simply Map. And for my example, we're going to look at a restaurant called Zaxby's, which is a chicken finger restaurant. Look at the number of consumers or percentage of consumers by county in the state of Tennessee who go to that restaurant. And it will also show the locations of the restaurant in those counties. So here you go. So when you first get to Simply Map, you have the option to, to create an account. Um, I would create an account because it actually will, will uh, remember what you were working on last time. Uh, once you do that, or if you don't want to do that, you can sign in as a guest, but once you sign out, it won't remember your maps or your data or that sort of thing. So I'm going to sign in as me. And um, I've actually closed all my tabs out so you, you'll see what it looks like when you first come in and start fresh. Okay. So you either have the option to create a map or a standard report, or if you want to do a ranking, you can go up here and do that or change the report type here if you want. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm actually just going to do a map. And you can start here with your map wizard, or in order to map something, you got to have a location and a variable. Okay, so I'm going to do variables. And um, I'm going to use the Simmons data down here, the Simmons local. And this is the same kind of Simmons data that's available in the Simmons OneView database, of which uh, we also subscribe here at Ohio University. So you can see it's it's kind of broken down the same way. So I'm going to use Zaxby's again as my example. Uh, so here we have our uh, fast food restaurants. And um, let's see, visit in the last month. And if we scroll down here, we should have a, a listing for went too far sorry there's Zaxby's percent who visited a Zaxby's in the last month let's just use that one let's just use this variable and if we close out here what it's going to do because we're doing a map it's going to go in into the United States there and this makes sense if you look at this map here you're like wow nobody's visited Zaxby's in the last month well that makes sense so if you look at you know the locations of Zaxby's that that pretty much falls in line with the actual location of, 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 of our map here in Simply Map. So let's go back to locations here and let's change this to states. And so let's say I want to open a, a similar chicken finger place to Zaxby's in um, in Tennessee somewhere. OK, so let's go and choose Tennessee, uh, use this location. And now this will drill down close this out this will drill down to the state of Tennessee level and so here we can see by county um, where uh, the highest percentage of people who have are projected to have eaten at a um, uh, a Zaxby's restaurant in the last uh, month are live okay we can also do something else here we can overlay this with locations of Zaxby's restaurant so if we go under businesses here and we can go in and say uh, add a condition where the name contains and let's do um, Zaxby's and we'll try this and do show businesses here and so this gives us if we highlight this guy here this gives us Zaxby's restaurant etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so that's a good way to kind of identify locations of Zaxby's restaurants in this case uh, by percentage of people who have eaten in a Zaxby's. Another real cool feature about this, if you can go in and dis under uh, actions here, you can uh, export the map image for your PowerPoint. You can also, and that'll save as a PDF or a PDF or a JPEG file for your PowerPoint. You can also go and make a report from the businesses. And this is kind of neat. So if you want basically a, a list of all the businesses in that area, and this will be the highlighted area of Tennessee here. We can make a report from the businesses. And so this will give us uh, basically the list of all the Zaxby's uh, in, in those areas. OK, and then if we want to we can go up here and export this uh, as an Excel file uh, for later use. So that's a good way to kind of identify uh, using this map. Um, places where Zaxby's are located by the percentage of um, uh, people who have eaten a Zaxby's. Now, if you like, you can go and, and, and edit the legend. 
So if you wanted to kind of change this to your new uh, color coding of your of your brand, you can go in here and click on uh, the colors here and choose whatever color you wish, or you can change it to one of the uh, three other default color schemes uh, there as well in order to make a, a more customized map. And then once again, you can dis, you know change that display option or, or under the actions here and export the image uh, to your PDF or to, or, uh, to your PowerPoint. So there, that's how you would, would use uh, the mapping feature in Simply Map to identify locations of a particular uh, restaurant consumer, uh, and then overlay that with uh, the names of uh, potential competitors or the names of, of businesses uh, in the area. Should you need more help with Simply Map or any other database, look for the contact link on the business blog. I've got to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.